dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ. Today, I would like to share with you some reflections on the three pillars of this London season. We know that the three pillars of the London season are prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Why does the church speak about uh, these three practices uh, during the season of Lent? All these three are related uh, to the main purpose of the Lenten season. Very often uh, we characterize this season as a season of journey. We speak about the Lenten journey. That is, we together with the Lord make a journey. We know the Lord's journey ended in Jerusalem and there in his uh, suffering, death, resurrection and then finally ascension into heaven. So this Lenten journey, the goal of the Lenten journey is not the cross. The goal of the Lenten journey is the ascension, that is to go back to God. And uh, if we still remember the readings that we heard when we began the season of Lent, uh, you would have heard um, uh, from the prophets, especially from prophet Joel chapter 2 verse 13, where the prophet says, rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord. So the, the purpose of the Lenten journey is to open our hearts so that we can return to the Lord, go to the Lord. So also, when Jesus began his ministry, uh, he began the ministry by inviting people in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 15. He says the, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the Gospel. Now take this word repent. We speak of uh, repentance as uh, turning back. Uh, turning back to whom? Uh, turning back to God. That is, we are going away from God. Uh, repentance means uh, turn back. Turn back uh, to the Lord. So, the purpose of the London journey is actually to, uh, to return to the Lord, to come back to the Lord. And this word repent, if you look at this word in, in the original, in the Greek, the word is uh, metanoia. Metanoia means, the literal meaning of that uh, word is, meta means beyond or above. Nous means a mind. So metanoia means uh, have a mind that is above, have a mind that is uh, heavenly. In other words, metanoia means you repent and come back uh, to God so that you will have a mind as large, a mind as great as the mind of God. So that is the purpose of the London journey, to become more and to come close to God and to become more God-like. And it is in this context that we need to look at these three practices. Prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is uh, raising our minds and heart to God. So the focus of prayer is uh, really God. So during the London season, the church is inviting us. We have put our mind, we have fixed our mind on so many other things. No, bring back your mind. Uh, I may be uh, worried about uh, money. I may be worried about the power. I may be worried about the fame. I may be going after so many things or some habits which are not good. So the Lord is telling uh, the, the London season, the church is telling us, okay, pull back your mind, take back your mind, bring back your mind and focus it on God. That is prayer, focusing mind, mind on God and uh, remaining with God, relating with God more than uh, during the rest of the year. Because the rest of the year, we are caught up, we are busy and our minds get detached from God and attached to many things. Now we have to detach our minds from all these things which are not God or things which are not God-like and then get attached to God. That is the purpose of prayer. Then we have fasting. What is the purpose of fasting? What is fasting? Okay, when we think of fasting, we think of okay giving up a meal or um, abstinence. We think of giving up meat, not eating certain things. Yes, that is, uh, that is the practice of fasting. But why do we fast? What is the, the meaning of the fast? What are we proclaiming through this fast? Actually, fasting is a proclamation. 
it is a proclamation first of all to myself and then it is a proclamation to the world and what is this proclamation that i make the proclamation is that a god is the most important reality in my life for which i am ready to give up everything else so by giving up food by fasting what am i saying i am saying that uh, uh, god is more important than food so that uh, i am it is okay for me to give up food or i am ready to give up food to proclaim that i love god so the proclamation is when i fast when i give up food i am proclaiming by that act not so much by word that god is more important to me god uh, fulfills me more than this food more than these things so that is actually the purpose of fasting it is like uh, suppose uh, you have a person whom you love very much and for the sake of that person you are ready to do many sacrifices maybe you are invited for a very sumptuous dinner but uh, your uh, dear one is uh, sick so now you have to choose will i choose that sumptuous dinner or will i choose to spend the time with my dear one my beloved who is sick certainly i will choose spending time with my beloved who is sick that is telling me or that is proclaiming to the world proclaiming to the one who invited me i'm proclaiming to myself that my beloved is more important to me than this sumptuous dinner so that is the proclamation that we are making when we are fasting that god is more important to me god is my all for the sake of whom i am ready to give up everything and that is what makes god happy when we fast god is not happy because i gave up an ice cream or i gave up some meat or i gave up a meal these are all good things that god himself has created god is not happy because just because i give up god is happy because of the purpose for which i give up the purpose is to proclaim to myself to others and of course to god god i love you so fasting is a proclamation of love so it is a proclamation that god is more important and i love god and uh, i love god more than anything else then we have the third pillar of uh, the season of uh, lent that is alms giving alms giving is also <clears throat> about a god why is it about god in the gospel of matthew chapter 5 god you know jesus tells us you know uh, that uh, be you perfect as your heavenly father is perfect and he makes that statement after saying look at your heavenly father he is willing to send the sun uh, on the good and the bad he is willing to send the rain on the good and the bad so our heavenly father is uh, one who gives uh, without looking at uh, the beneficiary who is the beneficiary where the benefit uh, god is is one who gives so when i give alms giving is uh, my effort to imitate god to tell god god i want to imitate you who is a person who gives who can be characterized as one who is always giving so alms giving is my effort uh, to be like god of course that benefits also this uh, person who is receiving alms and jesus uh, tells us in matthew chapter 25 as often as you have done it to the least of my brethren you have done it to me so that also is something that uh, brings me in some way closer to god so this london journey that we are making is a journey uh that uh, where we do these three practices of um, prayer a fasting and alms giving so that by the end of this season of lent we will be a little closer to god than when we started at the beginning of lent and so my wish for all of us is that we really make this a lenten journey where we together with jesus will go through different event different trial different problem different sufferings but finally come closer to god and rest in god may god bless you and wish you a very fruitful lenten season